Oh, gosh. Wow. Well, that's one way to jump scare somebody. Okay, um, that is the boiler gone. Hey guys, welcome back to another video today. We are back in Stormworks and we're gonna be checking out this really cool roll-on roll-off ferry. So yeah guys, let's get into the video. All right, so here we are on board the Janus and we're gonna be carrying some tanks today. So that's gonna be really cool. Now this is a steam operated ferry. So to get it going, we've gotta go down into the engine room and fire up the boiler. All right, so let's get the firebox open and get that valve going. Now, since this ship is powered by paddle wheels, we've got, well, engines on either side, and those go right to the outside of the ship, and those turn the paddle wheels, which make us go forward. Pretty simple there, and we're going to open up these valves to let steam into the engines. Now, going through here, we have the generator room right at the front of the ship, and you can see somehow it's going and I haven't even opened this up but uh, there we go now in an event where we start flooding which um, probably will be soon we do have some pumps and I would like to actually try and save the ship once I activate the scuttle or at least keep it above water for as long as possible now since we don't have any steam driven pumps it's gonna definitely be a challenge but I'm up for it so uh yeah, we should start moving momentarily. But first, we've got to go up to the bridge and signal the telegraph forward. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and get the telegraph going forward. And, yep, the paddle wheels are starting to move. And the ship is going. Now, I probably shouldn't do this while the ship is moving, but I'm going to try to lower one of these boarding doors here, these boarding ramps. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's try it. So let's lower it down. As you can see, it's working flawlessly. But yeah, we can keep lowering it down. Oh, gosh. See, yeah, that would probably break the ramp right off the ship. Did I just break it? I think I did. We could fix this by going into reverse. But at this point, I don't think it's going to really be necessary. Because we're really not going to be offloading the tanks anyways. We're going to be sinking the ship. So, um... Yeah, now I gotta get back on board. Now, moving on from there, let's take a look at some of the passenger accommodations, because it is pretty nice. We've got some paintings, we've got a seating area, and then going this way, we've got... I would imagine this leads to the engine room, and it does, so that's cool. We've got lots of ropes. Now, I would imagine it's pretty much the same thing on the other side, so let's take a look. And, yep, just a different painting. Now, I am tempted to put this thing up against some waves, but I'm pretty sure it is not going to do well because of how low it sits in the water. So I am not gonna do that. Now I am gonna cause a little bit of chaos here, so let me hop into the tank. There we go. Now, let's fire and see if we can do any damage. Wow, yes we can. Luckily the funnel still works, so that's good. Now, I can't actually go backwards because I'm sort of trapped here. As you can see, I crash into that if I go forwards. And I crash into this if I go backwards. Now, I'm sort of intrigued to see if the ship will survive a large explosion. Oh, wow. It's not really exploding much, is it? Oh, there it goes. Okay, so the tank is destroyed. However, the ship has survived. All right, we have damage over here. And we are listing, but that's simply because the ship is now unbalanced. Uh-oh, that's not supposed to happen. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even activate the scuttle yet. Um, well, apparently blowing up part of the ship was not a good idea because we're now starting to sink. Holy cow. All right, we're going down fast. I'm going to try to release the boat. All right, I'm just going to have to hope that the boat floats off. It is going completely vertical. There go the tanks. And there it goes. It's actually inverted. Oh, wow. Um, apparently the scuttle must have activated or something. But I certainly didn't activate it. And, uh, there's the, uh, Kraken. So that is also something that was very unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but I'm being crushed to death by one of the tentacles. And there it goes. The ship is going down. All right, here we are back on board. I'm gonna fire it up and uh, get it going again. And this time we're gonna use the scuttle and see if anything is different because clearly blowing up a tank on the deck is enough to get it to go down by itself. So here's the sink key right on the map table here, and we're gonna go with instant sink. So with that being pressed, let's go down below, and let's try to save the ship. Okay, the water is starting to flood in. So, here we go. Let's activate the pump. One other thing I am concerned about is that is a hot boiler, and there is very cold water right there. 
If you're not familiar with what happens when a hot boiler comes in contact with very cold water, well, it's very explosive. Oh, gosh. Wow. Well, that's one way to jump scare somebody. Okay, um, that is the boiler gone. Gotta get out. Gotta get out quickly. Oh, my gosh. I'm just barely gonna make it. Gonna release the lifeboat again. Gonna go for the other one. There we go. I'm gonna push it out. There we are. All right, I'm gonna get in this boat. And we are gonna watch the ship go down. So yeah, this was definitely a cool build. If you want to download it, a link will be in the description along with the tanks. So you can do basically what I did. And uh, yeah. Well then, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll see y'all next time, guys. Goodbye.